We want to assist you in feeling joyful in that gap between your awareness of your new desire and the manifested fulfillment of it. Because that is the tricky time, isn't it? It's easy to be fresh and new and have something occur in your life which gives you awareness that you prefer something or that you want something beyond what currently has manifested. That feeling of desire is life-giving, literally. We'll talk about how in a minute here. But when a desire launches and you have no idea how it's going to come about, when it's going to come about, who's going to help it, Often you stand in a place of discord or discomfort because the desire part of you is pulsing, but the doubt part of you is pulsing too. When desire is laced with, I don't knowness, I don't know how, I don't know when, I don't know who, I don't know if, then that desire doesn't feel good. And when you say it does, you lie. <laughs> but when that desire is surrounded with belief and expectation because it is rooted in your basic understanding of the laws of the universe when you've taught yourself that you are an extension of source energy and that you meant to explore contrast and you meant to give birth to new desire and you meant for the desire to move out ahead of you vibrationally and you meant to feel the discord between where you are in your belief system and where you are in your desire system and you meant to pay attention to your emotions and you meant to practice improved vibrations until your belief and your desire were vibrationally matching because you knew before you came into this physical body that that's what deliberate creation is having a desire that you don't contradict with doubt and you know what causes you the majority of times to contradict your own life-giving desire with doubt What's present is, what is itis? What's present is your observation of what is. You're taking score too soon. You're forgetting that everything is vibrationally manifested. And that's really a tricky word to put with vibrationally because we don't mean manifested in terms of being able to see it, but we mean congealed. We mean coming together we mean cooperative components all assembled you are constantly giving birth to rockets of desire which are vibrational only for a while and those rockets of desire are assembled by the powerful law of attraction into what we are calling your vortex it's a vibrational environment where everything that you have become exists vibrationally now we know that's just annoying to the flesh, blood and bone, physical version of you who wants to see the car in the garage and the lover in the bed and the money in the bank. We understand how you want those manifestations to already be congealed in a way that you can spin them and know them and lick them and see them and hear them and touch them. We know how you want the physical manifestation and we want that for you too. But if you will hear us today as we convince you doing our very best to do that of this vibrational reality which precedes all manifestation and if you will begin to let your awareness of this vibrational reality be what you are tuning yourself to if you will become a conscious vibrational being you're already a vibrational being and most humans don't know that you think you're flesh blood and bone you think you're the stuff you see and the stuff you hear and the stuff you smell and so on. You think that that's who you are and what your world is. That's the manifested version of it that comes after the vibrational version of it, which if you will give your attention to the vibrational version of it, and you will pay attention to where you stand in relationship to the vibrational version of it by using the guidance system you were born with, which is your emotions. If you will feel your way into alignment, if you will take the emotional journey first, if you will celebrate your new idea before it is manifested and you will stop looking at the absence of it or at the presence of something unwanted, if you will get over your need it seems to explore and catalog and pigeonhole and document and make historical relics about what is and you will look forward to where you're going you will start having fun today and the manifestation time will speed dramatically because we're not kidding you when we say 
you were source energy before you came into this body and you are source energy even though you are in this body a part of you is here present this focused genius personality that you know as you important part of you here in this physical body and as you are here in this physical body as the leading edge of source energy you are exploring contrast just like you knew you would and coming constantly all day every day to new awarenesses of what would be just a little better than it already is even one celled organisms every consciousness which includes all that you know is having exposure to life and requesting improvement that's what the evolution of all species is about